All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily, where we post daily Las Vegas Raiders content. If that's something you enjoy, enjoy this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I was trying to hit 100 likes on today's video. I know it sounds like a lot here, but I think that would help us get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the week, to be honest with you. So I got to talk about Keelan Cole. Um, obviously, Brian Edwards got traded from the Raiders last week, you know, not too long ago, less than a week ago or what have you. And... You know, while it does suck and it is unfortunate, you know, it's not that crazy. You know, it really isn't that crazy. So we're going to talk about Keelan because I think he's sweet. And, you know, maybe tomorrow or later today will be Demarcus Robinson. You know, maybe we'll even get a little bit deeper into the wide receiver chart. But I think Keelan is kind of this nice low-key player that they have where, you know, he can specialize in a couple of different things. So, you know, last season he played with rookie Zach Wilson, um, you know, who just didn't have a didn't have a solid year, right? You know, typically in the NFL, especially with a rookie quarterback, they're going to go through growing pains. And, you know, the Jets are the Jets. They're not a great football team right now. So 15 games, 11 starts, only 28 receptions, about 450 yards, only one touchdown. But he did see 16 yards per reception. And that kind of gets me to one thing, like Josh McDaniels in his offense, in his offensive schemes, his offensive game plans, like, Yards after catch are huge. Like causing missed tackles and getting yards after catch, McDaniels is all about that, right? So when you look at Keelan's stats, actually, just about 30% of his yards in general last season came after catch. So I think it, it totals out to about three and a half yards after catch, which is impressive. That's a good stat right there. So that's something you want to see because deep threat wise, He's just not really great. Uh, very similarly to Brian Edwards, where it's like, you know, there's hope, you know, there's thought, but for the most part, nothing really there. You know, he'll get them. You know, he'll get some deep catches. Like, for example, um, you know, his career long, what is it, 75? Like, he had a 54-yarder last year, 51-yarder, you know, 55. Like, so it's not like it's just this thing he can't do. But to me, that's more Demarcus Robinson. That's what he's about. That is what Robinson is about. In fact, like statistically speaking, Robinson's like, you know, although the volume is like way down as opposed to, you know, the comparisons and the average, he's really good with deep balls. And we'll talk about that, like I said, in his own little video. But for the most part, Keelan stays in that slot. He's not much of a deep threat, but he is going to get those hustle yards. You know, this is a guy who is 28 years old, came into the NFL at 24, and, you know, he's been in the league for about five seasons. The thing with Keelan, though, is, you know, he's, I, I feel like he's somebody you can just rely on whenever he's out on the field. Like, this isn't somebody, you know, this isn't an un, no disrespect undrafted free agents, but this isn't, you know, an undrafted rookie free agent. Like, this is a guy who has been in the league for five years. You know, he had four years with Jacksonville. Jacksonville, like, you know, I get the I get Bortles was like solid, but you know, I can't think of the last time a super solid quarterback was in Jacksonville. Was it Leftwich? Like that was could it have been? That was so long ago. But I have a Leftwich jersey. Anyways, like he made it work there. So let's take a look. Like his best season was his rookie year, all the way back in 2017. He only started. He played in all games, but he only started in six. Four, 42 yards, 83 targets. Uh, <laughs> I feel like. I'm telling you, bro. When was the last? Who was the last good QB out of Jacksonville? I'm, not, I'm sorry if you're a Jags fan. And you're watching this. I'm not trying to shit on you guys, but like, <laughs> crazy. 42 receptions, 748 yards. But here's the best part: 18 yards per reception. 18 yards per reception. So that's money, honey. You know, that's absolutely money, honey. I just feel like Keelan Cole is going to provide like something just super low key right like you know obviously you have your starting actually do you you don't even have t brian edwards is gone so we'll i mean honestly as far as starting goes we'll see with keelan cole um you know i would imagine like even if he wasn't day one start or week one starter i should say i would imagine there will still be be some games you know whether it's injuries or you know illnesses or whatever you know just want to insert him in there um we'll see i'm sure we'll see keelan cole start some games like probably around five if he's not day one starter week one starter but you know you guys know me if you've been watching my video like or if you've been watching my videos 
I really want the Raiders to go out and get another wide receiver. You know, I no disrespect to Keelan, but like a good comparison would be like, you know, Keelan, you got like, you know, compared to Devontae, like you got Devontae up here, you know, you got Keelan down there. I'm talking like someone right there, right there in the middle. Like, you know, maybe it's not OBJ, maybe it's not, you know, Julio Jones, although why not? Um, you know, why not one of those two guys? But we just saw, you know, we've been seeing dudes get picked up a lot. You know, Jarvis Landry, um, primarily a slot guy anyways. Like, you know, Landry, I don't think would have been a good fit. But, you know, you got guys like Sanders out there. You got guys like Will Fuller. Um, I think Will Fuller on a one-year prove-it deal, why the hell not? Stuff like that. But Keelan, you know, Keelan's definitely going to help pick up the slack. And so, you know, to me, the way I see it is it's just another threat for Derek Carr and this already explosive Raiders offense. So, that's it for today, man. Let's try and hit 100 likes on today's video. But most importantly, go ahead, comment some stuff down below. What are your thoughts on Keelan Cole? What are your thoughts on the Raiders' position right now at wide receiver? Peace.